The Turtle Rescue Rehabilitation Program at Melbourne Aquarium is to help sick and injured turtles that are found washed up in Victorian waters. We bring them into Melbourne Aquarium, look after them and then send them back into the wild once they're better. So it's really to help the injured turtles and help the populations in Queensland recover. So our turtles are found by members of the public. Now we usually get a call up the turtle or members of the public can come bring the turtle in to us. So the turtles are transported to the aquarium, generally by the public. Otherwise, if we get the call that there's a, quite a large turtle, we'll jump in the ute, head out there. Um, bringing the turtle back, we can place it in the back or in the ute. But the main thing is that we keep it comfortable, so we have lots of wet towels underneath. turtle here at the aquarium. The first 24 hours is very, very important and as you can imagine the turtles are pretty sick when they get here. Um, we call our vet, Dr Rob, and he comes in straight away. In the first 24 hours that the turtles come into Melbourne Aquarium, the main problem we have uh, with the turtles that are stranded on the beaches here in Victoria is that they're cold stunned. So they're, they're hypothermic. So we actually are very careful not to bring the temperature up too quickly because if you do that you have metabolism problems. So basically they go into a fresh water bath that's at the same temperature that they came from in the sea on that day. And the reason they're put into a fresh water bath is twofold. One is they may actually drink and absorb some of the water so it helps to rehydrate them. Secondly, it gets rid of any barnacles and external parasites and algae that's stuck on their, um, their shell. Okay, so after that first 24 hours where we've put them into um, uh, water, we're doing a clinical assessment on them at that stage to, to assess their, their level of hydration, their body condition, most of them are underweight, um, so we'll take a body, uh, we'll weigh them. Uh, we'll also grab a blood sample, and we, we go in from the top of the neck, they have a sinus on the top of the neck, uh, and we get a blood sample that will give us a lot of information, because a lot of them are cold stunned, but they have secondary infections because their immune systems are compromised. So after we've done that, we will gradually raise the level of the water, um, making sure that they don't drown, as we said before, and then we'll also uh, gradually increase the temperature of the water to, to, to bring their metabolism back to normal. And so these turtles would normally be in water of say 23 to 25 degrees. And in Melbourne, in, the, in Victorian waters, in the winter it could be 10 or 12. So depending on the gap, that temperature gap, we might take a week, we might even take two weeks to bring them up to that um, temperature level. So after that initial period of stabilisation, uh, one of the things I didn't mention is we'll often take an x-ray uh, to, to ensure that there are no foreign bodies, no plastic stuck inside, no fishing hooks, that sort of thing. After that initial process of a couple of weeks, and, and, and usually by that stage we've started to get them eating, they've been on antibiotics and they've been on vitamin injections to stimulate the appetite, and, and we'll still keep them isolated. So they're still in a quarantine uh, tub during this period until we're certain that they can swim properly, uh, that they've come up to the right temperature, and they've started to feed. And once they tick all those boxes, then we'll look at starting moving them out into a bigger um, display. Uh, usually we'll put them into the lock, uh, which is our working area at the top of the uh, oceanarium, and that's where we do our turtle checks. And then once they've been in there for another week or so and we're happy that they're stable and swimming around, then we'll release them into our main ocean area. program 
here is about, I'd say 80%. Um, the other 20%, uh, some of the turtles, when they get here, they're just beyond our help. They're too sick uh, to recover. Also, some of the call-outs we've been to, the turtles have died before we've got there. So, yeah, 80% is pretty good. Uh, in a typical vet check, we're trying to do three things. We're, we're trying to do a physical examination, we're trying to get a body weight, and we're also looking at getting a blood sample. Physical examination means that we, we rest them on a surface. Um, I'll look at the, the carapace, which is the top shell, uh, to make sure it's clean of, of barnacles and parasites and that sort of thing. We'll then look at the uh, flippers and make sure they're nice and clean and, and, and healthy. And then at that stage, I'll look at the head, the eyes. We don't open the mouth because it's pretty hard to open the mouth, but we'll have a look at the skin around that area. We then roll the turtle over to have a look at the plastron, which is that underneath the shell. And when they're very skinny, that gets pushed in. So as they're gaining weight, it gets filled out as they're gaining weight. Uh, make sure once again that that's nice and clean. And then the next step in the procedure is a blood sample. So we'll turn the turtle back over. Um, we'll take the blood sample, there's a, there's a sinus on the top of the neck and that's where we get the blood sample from. And then the very last thing will be to um, weigh the turtle. turtles are ready to be released from Melbourne Aquarium, our vet does a final check on them. We get all the permits in place and we actually send them on a plane up to Queensland where they head out on a boat and release back into the Great Barrier Reef. Um, just in general about the turtle rehab program, I have to say it's one of the most exciting things that we do here at Melbourne Aquarium. These are wild turtles that come in that are sick and we work very hard to be able to rehabilitate them and then get them back into the wild. And when we lose one, it's pretty shattering. But the most of the time, we do get them there. The two we've currently got are Dramana and Frankie. And we name them usually after the beach that they're washed up on. So Dramana was found at Dramana and Frankie was found down near Frankston. Um, Frankie's been with us for about uh, eight months and Dramana for going on 18 months. They usually come in in the winter. Most of the turtles we get are in our cooler weather months. Uh, the two of them are doing really well. We've, we've weighed them, they've gained a lot of weight. Um, they're very close to being able to be uh, released back into the wild. So we're hoping to release Frankie and Germana sometime next summer once they've had a full vet check. Uh, we'll send them back up to the Great Barrier Reef, which will be yeah, really exciting. Once Frankie and Germana are released, I would definitely miss them. <laughs> <laughs>